Do I get to watch? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Team Rocket Fire Red Edition. No wait, swap that. <laughs> you know what it is. Uh, we're headed up to Bill's house. I gotta, you know, beat some more ass like I do. And uh, let's see, I think Bugsy is the one that's dragging. Yeah, but everybody's like a level 11 or 12. All except for uh, Nidoran female, Queenie, who's gonna level up next level, I think. And then I can use a Moonstone. Oh shit! I missed this hiker before. I caught him this time. Damn it. You're gonna see Bill? First, we battle. What do you like, his bodyguard or something like that? Oh, you don't look that tough. Come on, take that ass to school. Okay, he's pretty tough. He's got an Onyx. Um, we're gonna pull Bugsy out of here and go into Joey Banan. The nice thing about Joey is that that could be a girl's name too, you know? And maybe she just likes bananas. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Ha <laughs> ha. So I think Low Kick is gonna beat the shit out of this thing because it's like, you know, Onyx is pretty heavy and Low Kick's based on weight or something like that. So he goes for the curse and then the rock throw. It actually does more damage than I expected, but another low kick sweeps that shit out of here. Unfortunately, I can't steal his onyx because he's a big grown-up man. You're something. Yeah, something what? And then they're like, what are you looking at? And they're like, nothing. And then you're like, what? So now I'm nothing? And then you like hit him with something in the face. Cool. So we got two dudes here. I remember I could pull this uh, top guy down and get the Pokeball without cut. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm off to see a Pokemaniac's collection at the Cape. Really? You are? Well, me too. I mean, I'm not going there to see his collection exactly, but I am going there. I'll see you there, bro. Bugsy is uh, lacking in levels now. That's sad. We've also got Gacy, big fat slowpoke Gacy in the back. Um, maybe we could hit this shit with Water Gun and, like, sweep the shit out of it. But I kind of want to pop Queenie's, um, EXP Cherry, so... I'm gonna send her out to do some double kicking. And it doesn't really <laughs> do as much as I had hoped. Luckily, this guy's not really doing anything except for Mud Sport, which is gross, and Rock Polish, which is, um, negligible. <laughs> I don't care much about Rock Polish. At lower levels, you can go first. That's fine. I know we're both going to live a hit. Ooh, critical hit on the second hit of that double kick. And Geodude goes down. Bugsy caught that level 11 boy. Trying to learn confusion. Hell yes. That's what I've been waiting for. So we'll get rid of Foresight. Because it doesn't fucking uh, affect Supersonic. I thought it would make Supersonic 100% accurate. It does not. So... It's trash. It's useless. Throw it away. I don't even want to see it anymore. So, let's go ahead and send out Slowpoke. He's he's a new poke as well, so... He got that, that hot and ready EXP Cherry. Just ready to burst his juices all over. Is this my Pokemon ASMR? <laughs> Sexy Pokemon ASMR. Alright. There it goes. One hit, my goodness. So delicious. I think I'm just gonna keep him out here. I, I wanted a water Pokemon for just occasions like this. And uh, here we are. Here we are now. They keep going for Mud Sport. Like, dude, you really think electricity is gonna get used against a Geodude? This boy retarded. I don't know what's going on, but, but I think his head's full of rocks. He's a rock type trainer. His head's full of rocks too. What's up with that? And then we got the uh, Machop. So I'm going to go back into Bugsy and try out that Confusion. Because Psychic should blow this thing up. No problem. He goes for Focus Energy, which is fine. I think all of his attacks are, are fighting type, so whatever. Eat dirt, son. It actually doesn't do as much as I had hoped. But um, yeah, he's not able to do anything to me really, so... I guess we'll just stand out here and stare at each other for a little bit. That that confusion should have really blown a hole in him, but I guess I'm thinking of like Kadabra's confusion, which is f 
from a significantly higher base special attack. Ben and that's kind of, you know, he's a baby Pokemon. Maybe once we get Venomoth, it'll do a bit more. But it does get through that Machop. Gacy caught that level. Sweet. Hiker Knob. <laughs> he is a knob. You done got me. And real good, too. Wh what'd you expect? What'd you think was gonna happen? Pokemaniac sure lives up to his name. His collection includes many rare species of Pokemon. Mine, too, dog. So, um, I wonder if I could steal any of Bill's Pokemon. Hmm, I'm gonna put Clyde in the front. I expect this guy to have a grass type or something. Maybe? I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Oh, good for you. Mr. Steal Your Girl Team Rocket out here. That's right. What you gonna do? And he's got a level 14 Zubat, which is a little scary. But Fly obviously has a pretty high base power, so I think we're going to be able to get through it. Hmm. I don't know. Now the supersonic has complicated things. Do it. Fly, Clyde. Good boy. But he's also going to have a confusion check on the way back down, so I don't know. It worked. Ha ha! Luck stat. Luck 10. So now, um... I mean, he's not really going to be able to do anything to me. Unless he uses Bite. Go for the peck. You can do it. I believe in you. Yes. Just breaking through that confusion every time. Clyde's a boss. I mean, Bonnie's pretty cool too, but Clyde, he the man. Oh, bug and... <laughs> bug and grass. This thing's dead. One shot. Not one shot. Whatever. Whatever, dude. I guess because the level difference... That makes sense. But, uh, he goes down pretty hard. No problem. Clyde picking up that level. Mmm, buddy. Hooray. Aw, oh, darn. Yeah, darn indeed. Steal a Pokemon? What did he have? Paris and, and... Something I probably don't need. Whatever. You good, bro. You keep your Pokemon for now. TM43, sacred, secret power. Not sacred power. What the fuck is a sacred power? The power of Christ compels you. Kaczynski? Is, is he a new poke as well? I had this feeling. I knew I had to battle you. I'm gonna look back in editing and be like, wow, I should have stolen that kid's first Pokemon. Oh, it was a Zubat. Yeah, I don't have a Zubat yet, so... Maybe I shoulda, but whatever. Am I actually going to use the Zubat is, is my real question. And the answer to that, probably not. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with what we got here. Although Zubat could replace um, Bugsy and Clyde. Both of them. Because he's like poison and flying. But honestly, uh, yeah, you can't get... Go you can't get Crobat in this game until you've already got the National Dex, which is going to be after the Elite Four. And after the Elite Four, I'm sure there's some post-game content. Most of these uh, ROM hacks do include some post-game content, which is why I don't ever delete the files. Like, I could go back and do some Pokemon Clover post-game content were I so inclined. But, um, yeah, once you beat the Elite Four, like, the game's basically over, dude. <laughs> after that, whatever. Go home. Oh my god. He bited my Bugsy, and Bugsy died. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Oh, it seems that I've also gotten rid of uh, Clefurry. Which I didn't remember that I did, but... Whatever. I meant to go for low kick, not focus energy, but... Okay. Alright then, just... You do you, you know? Jesus. That hurts so bad. Well, whatever. We got one turn, I guess, uh, get your EXP and <laughs> drop dead. Just how it be. A shame, that. I also am supposed to go visit the daycare center, but I jumped over the ledge and I can't figure out how to get back. So, so, so that's not good. Oh, Joey Banan, how could you let this happen? Alright, we're going to Gacy. This boy, 
he's gonna be a smooth operator. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Which is kind of an ironic song for a slowpoke. Because a chick would come up and be like, hey, what's your name? And then <laughs> she'd walk away after waiting for five minutes and he'd be like, slow? <laughs> so was somebody talking to me ten minutes ago? Hey, Chad. I knew I'd lose too. I haven't stolen any Pokemon this episode. I ain't gonna start now. I probably will. I think this chick has like Oddish or Bellsprout. So, uh, we'll put Clyde in the front. Kaczynski's not being as useful as I thought he would be. My friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Well, steal them. <laughs> That's the only advice I can really offer you. Oh, she's a lass. So she does have grass Pokemon, but I can't steal them because she's she's too old. She's just turned a teenager, and now apparently she thinks she's old enough to stand up to adults. Which really isn't the case. That doesn't really happen until you're like 15 or 16. A 13 year old, they're, they're still pretty cowed over by uh, adult authority for the most part. At least that was the case for me. In, in my experience, my limited life experience. Now, the first Oddish got one shot by Fly. This Oddish did not. Was the level different? I didn't really notice. I was just kind of spamming a move. <laughs> That's how it be. Trying to learn Pursuit. Yeah, I'll let you learn Pursuit. Get rid of Growl or some shit. Leer? Yeah. Sure, we got rid of Growl for Fury Attack. I ain't never gonna use either of these moves. See, you, you can only really utilize self-boosting moves. Because when your Pokemon switches out, that's like something that's under your control. If the en enemy Pokemon switches out or dies, then all the boosts or stat losses or whatever are are wasted basically that's super super terrible oh my god he almost got Clyde with that quick attack Whew. well still managed to scrape through good boy you did it I'm not so jealous why you say my Pokemon are ugly you came from Mount Moon may I have a clay fairy yes in my box wait a minute I ain't giving you nothing I'm a criminal. Hey, Bill. What's up with it? Hey, guy. Yeah, I'm Bill, all right. What do you want? I'm from Team Rocket. Uh, to got come over here, something, something. Oh, Team Rocket, is it? My, it's been a while. Yeah, sorry, I'm not interested. I've got my research to attend to, right? I'm not Giovanni's little tech boy consultant anymore. Hmm. Let me take this Pokemon. This Pokemon appears to be cowering in terror. Alright, shove it in a thing. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, what's it about? The job. Oh, Porygon, is it? Figures. Hmm? Yeah, of course I know how to make the things. Who do you take me for? Just show me the stuff they gave you to tempt me with already. What? You don't even have anything for me. Then why are you wasting my time? Come back when you've got some actual rewards for me in return for Giovanni's dirty work. Then I might be negotiable to consider it, alright? For real? I'm gonna shove you in that uh, transformer. I think that's how it's supposed to go, right? And then, and then Red comes along and rescues your happy ass after I'm long gone. Oh, Dan, I think we finally found a secluded area all to ourselves. I, I'm a little scared, but I think... I think I'm ready. Oh, here it goes. There's no need to worry, love. I'll be with you all the way. Mary, I, I've been waiting for this moment since I first saw you running around the grass with your Jigglypuff all that time ago. <laughs> I knew in my heart that one day I would take you here and make, oh, but for the love of, is it not possible to get oneself a few moments privacy in this day and age? My goodness, the nerve. Can you guys move? Anyway, where were we, honey? Take down your pants. Yes, indeed. So, so I think I'm really... I really am just stuck. Stuck out here until I get some stuff to tempt Bill with. Which, um... I guess I should have picked up already at the daycare center. 
but I'm kind of a noob, so <laughs> this is this is just how uh, ROM hacks go. But that's kind of a nice thing too, because then you get some some tasty surprises, things that I don't know at all, like the correct way to go. <laughs> at least I beat all the trainers, soaked up that EXP. Mm-hmm. I'm so tempted to put Clayfairy back in the party and get rid of Kaczynski or something, but I don't know. I'll, I'll give him some more chances, I suppose. He's really going to prove it's worth at the Thunder Gym. Oh, wait. We don't go to the Thunder Gym. Oh, there's a hole right here. Sweet. I don't need cut. I do have to go to the daycare center. All right. Secret rocket base that the daycare man is in charge of. Who'd have thunk it, dude? I bet when you leave the Pokemon there, they actually take them out and battle them for Team Rocket. What a twist. Welcome, young man. I run the daycare service. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? Yeah, I sure would. My Nidoran needs to get himself some experience, but I'm just too busy with my other Pokemon as it is. Isn't that right, Nido? Nido! <laughs> Alright, well, give him the Team Rocket to go battle him. Very well, we'll raise your Nidoran. He should fit. He should be fit for fight in no time at all. I assure you. Awesome, thank you, sir. Now back to my Pokemon adventure. Excuse me, Team Rocket. Team Rocket member. Why, hello there. Would you like me to raise your Pokemon this week? Oh, <laughs> my apologies. I didn't quite catch your uniform. Isn't that, like, the first thing you should notice? Maybe his eyes are bad. <laughs> I take it you're with the others. Right this way, then. Follow me now, little Nido. Oh, God. That's good, lad. Now just come on down here. Oh, my God. They're gonna ruin the daycare for me forever. Um... Should I switch? Bonnie's level 9. I don't want to bother. That's why I dumped her. <laughs> She's too low level. Rocket Warehouse. Greetings, sir. Some fresh meat for you, in more ways than one. Hmm. Archer, another rocket exec. What have we got here? A male Nidoran, is it? Well, it may be cute, but it certainly won't be of any use for manual labor. Hmm? No, indeed. But if I recall correctly, it should be pretty, uh, versatile in the breeding department. That's so. Can you fuck, little guy? <laughs> Show me how you fuck. You grunt. Go throw this little fella in the breeding pit. <laughs> Try to get it as close to that Q-bone we've got in there, too. We could use a few Q a few more Q-bone eggs. Yes, sir. They know all about the gre breeding groups? Wow, that's something I don't really know about. I always gotta look it up. Well... I'll be on my way. Mm, hi, executive. Well then, and you are? I I'm Dayton. What's up? Ah, oh, you're Dayton. Welcome to Cerulean, the city of beautiful flowing water, or whatever the hell it is. Make yourself at home in our humble little rocket base, but please don't feed the Pokemon, if you'd be so kind. I got the message from the boss about your miss mission. Bill's house is just north of along Route 25, right on the other side of Nugget Bridge. It's pretty big. You won't miss it. Hmm. I had a box of a few rarities put together per boss's requests. Honestly, if I were Bill, I'd take the job in a heartbeat if the stuff in there was what I was being offered, but then I've heard that he's a bit of a picky weirdo. You can go collect the parcel up in the storage room over there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to give these rookies here a crash course in the art of a good burglary. This part's always good fun. Do I get to watch? I guess not. Hi, Machoke. What's up with it? Hey, you're the one who's gonna see Bill, right? The package thing's right here. I hope it helps at least a little bit. Bill's possum! Alright, well, I guess I gotta go run this over. That Machoke there belongs to some hiker who hasn't been back for it for, like, a year. <laughs> well, sure can't complain. It hasn't gotten enough exercises when it finally gets back. Yeah, exercise the crap out of that Machoke. I'll come back and explore the rocket base shortly, but I do want to uh, accomplish Bill's house. Like I should have done already. Register the bicycle. 
Huzzah! Ding ding! Is it actually faster? <laughs> it's so funny to imagine a criminal on a bicycle. I mean, I'm sure it does happen. It happens in GTA. I shot a person with a submachine gun while I was on a bicycle. <laughs> this is just like, you know, drive drive by flamethrower or whatever. This fucking bike's hard to control. What, 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 what? What's going on here? Alright. Hey, Bill. I'm back. Take this crap. Hmm. Damn it, Giovanni. Why do you keep treating me like I'm some amateur collector? I mean, a shiny Magikarp? Really? Oh, and some rare candies, too. Spectacular. What's this? Ticket to some exclusive party on the SSA liner? <laughs> Please. I've got all the high-end connections I need, and alcohol only dulls my concentration. Okay, here comes the actual interesting part. Hmm? As thanks for your cooperation, blah blah blah, we'll offer you a regular salary of such and such. Well, okay, that's respectable, but you do realize I could get that much working at freaking Sylph, right, Giovanni? Jeez. Hmm. Here's the thing you've got to know about me, pal. I only care about two things in life. Science and rare Pokemon. That's it. Those two things are the alpha and omega of my life. Money, power, status, politics. These may nil to me. You see that? I guess I do. If I take the job, you tell Giovanni it'll be on the following conditions. First, Team Rocket is to send me a regular sample of the rarest Pokemon you acquire. Be that through breeding, stealing, catching, cloning, or however it is you guys do it. I'd rather I didn't know, to be honest. Second, since I know you guys have spies in Sylphco, I want you to give me any and all intel that you can gather on their newest invention. Rumors have been going around the technology news groups for weeks about Sylph being on the brink of a, a prototype for some innovative new Pokemon capture device. If this is going to be as big as they say, I can hardly afford to miss it. Now, I'd go there and investigate the thing myself, but frankly, I'd sooner eat a dead muck than work for a big conglomerate like Sylph. A dead muck? I'd rather eat a big pile of poison. <laughs> Won't you get all that? Good, because those are my terms. For the time being, at least. I suppose I might change my mind. Go back and tell all that to your little superiors, if you'd be so kind. I've got work to do. My little superiors. Tell you what. What's your name? I'm Dayton. You know, I admire your persistence, Dayton. I want you to have something. <gasps> what is it? There we go. Here you go. It's a cell phone. Uh, great. <laughs> now I can call nobody. I want you to be my Team Rocket contact, Dayton. Yes, that is equally a condition of my taking the, por the Porygon job, but one that'll just be between you and me. Do you understand? Okay. That's a cellular telephone. Quite a little marvel of technology, I know. I'll be calling you there once in a while to check in on you. And have you tell me if Rocket guys have done or discovered anything that might interest me lately. Is that alright with you? Yeah, I guess. Oh? In fact, come to think of it, there's one particularly rare Pokemon that I've long been on the lookout for. One that I think you guys could help me locate. If you don't mind me asking... Are you at all familiar with the Mewtwo project? Hmm? No? I see. Well, I guess Giovanni's not one to reveal his secrets all too easily. I suppose that's reasonable. Never mind, then. The Mewtwo Project. Ooh. These motherfuckers still just... Dude's trying to bang it out. He's like, come on, baby. I want to show you how much I love you. Physically. Physically. Just take your pants off in the middle of the... <laughs> in the middle of the lake or something. Y'all stupid. Oh, shit. Oh my, what's this? More rockets? Thought I got all you back at Mount Moon. Oh well, I suppose beating a couple more of you guys couldn't hurt if that's what it takes, am I right? I say, after knocking out all the other wimps on this bridge, I could use a challenge. Bring it on, Mr. Rocket. Oh no. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Pokemon Trainer Blue. Well, level 13 Pidgey, that's not too bad, I guess. Now Kaczynski can uh, come in and do his work. 
Kind of makes me wish that I held on to Sandshrew so we could get some rollout shenanigans going, but... It is what it is. We're gonna do fine. Oh, we still have Rock Throw. That's not too bad. Although I think Rock Throw has kind of shit accuracy. Or maybe that's only in, uh... Like, the original Gen 1 games. Regardless, I'm getting Sand Attack to shit here, so, um... That's not good. That is not good. And I got crit. If I get beat by a fucking Pidgey, dude, I'm, I'm never gonna live it down. Ooh, but we got that critical. Never mind, we good. At least, at least for now. So I think Red has a Charmeleon, so he's got the... That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> he's got the War Turtle. And I don't really have anything that can, uh... Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it, particularly. Ugh. I guess, uh, yeah, we'll see what Slowpoke can do. I really don't know. War Turtle's gonna be a pain in the ass. It's got all that defense. Hmm. Got that withdrawal. Even more defense. I guess, whatever. He's probably gonna fall asleep from the yawn because, uh, trainers don't switch very often. But then the question is, what, what do I go into? I guess I'll try out Joey Banan. And, uh, it should give me time to focus energy or something like that. And then if I can crit, uh, his defense stat-ups won't matter. But he is really, really fucking terrifying, if I can be honest. <clears throat> I don't like this at all. Just kinda, fingers crossed. See what low kick can do. Not much. <laughs> Uh, is Fury Swipes any better? I mean, I could always also, um, you know, do some leering and stuff like that, but I ain't really got that kind of time. There's a crit. And another. Hey! Multi-hit moves, paying off. But if the move doesn't crit, then it's basically a piece of shit. <laughs> so, uh, that ain't good. Alright. I'm, I'm not enjoying this. Let's try Fury Swipes again, I guess. He's just gonna max out his defense. So not good. I keep missing Fury Swipes, which is also so not good. Come on, dude. Episode time's gonna run long. <laughs> I guess that's fine. It is a major battle. Come on, crits. Crits all day. Five hits, all crits. There's one. Just one. Okay, then. I'm basically having to, uh, just pray for crits in order to get through this battle. That only hit twice. Luckily, his defense is maxed, and he's not paying attention. Come on. You can knock it out right now. Couple of crits. Go, go, go. Yes. Crit. Not quite. Is he going to use a potion now? Oh my god, I'm going to die if he uses a potion. Yep! There's a super potion! I hate everything! <laughs> and of course I fucking miss. That's so horrible. That is so horrible of you. Well, maybe we can get some poison or something on him? I don't know. Queenie's not exactly, like, the most beefy. But this Poison Sting? I think Poison Sting's a physical move, too. Luckily, we get the, uh, the poison right off on him, but... Man, this is, this is rough. <laughs> Maybe some tail whippings? You want some tail whippings, boy? I wasn't expecting this at all. God. <laughs> it's so not good. Oh well, it be what it be. Water gun definitely hurts. Should I go for more poison stings? Maybe double kick will do more damage? He's trying to restore his stats, which is a good thing because then I can uh, watch the poison tick away. Double kick fucking does nothing. That's horrible. Um, I guess keep tail whipping. Whatever. I, I, I don't know what else to do here. I 
guess I could go go into Clyde and get like some fly shenanigans going. I don't think I have any potions. I have a revive and a paralyze heal. And that's it! Let's see. I guess Kaczynski might be able to live something. He's probably gonna use water gun. That was a terrible move. <laughs> He goes for bubble. I basically sacrificed Kaczynski for no reason. Oops. My bad, little bro. Little brother. I'm sorry about that. Well, now like I said, we'll get the uh, fly shenanigans going with Clyde. He's, he's really just brutalized my entire team. So, yeah. I don't know what, what he has next, but hopefully it's not anything near as bad as this war turtle. War Tortle. This thing's horrible. Finally goes down. Jesus. Terrifying. Everybody gets EXP from that. Alright, what you got? Abra? It doesn't have anything. It's like, oh, I'm gonna teleport. <laughs> okay, good luck. Teleport actually does do something in the current games, though. It gives you, like, a free switch. It's kind of like a dry baton pass. Which is pretty cool. Clyde, proving his worth, as always. Good boy, good boy. What's last? Ratata. Alright. So yeah, War Turtle's the... Oh god! Crit quick attack. It's terrifying. So yeah, War Turtle was the most terrifying thing on his team, really, but... Don't sleep on Rattata, dude. Wow. Crazy. Everybody's beat the hell up except for Bugsy and Gacy, so I guess I'm gonna let Bugsy go out there and see what he can do. Focus energy? That's fine. I know Confusion's gonna KO right now. Shazam. Oh, buddy. Had me for a moment. <laughs> I thought it was all over. I mean, I don't know if it matters if you lose. Probably so. You're supposed to win this one. All right, all right. Take it easy. You won, okay? Hell yeah, just barely. Hmm. You know what? This is not even fair. Why though? Do I just not have the right Pokemon? Not. That can't be. I just have to train harder. I. I need to get better, stronger. Darn it. Still not good enough. And you never will be. That's what his mom told him. You're not good enough. <laughs> Anyways, friends. Oh, fellow rocket. Hey, Dayton. I was just looking for you. Dude, that was the most badass burglary I've ever seen. No question. Well, you know, it was the only burglary I've ever seen so far, but you get the idea. Rad. We just kind of dug our way in there and swoop. No more TM for you, old man. <laughs> oh, Lord. You should have been there, Dayton. So, anyway, what have you, you been up to? Eh, I saw Bill beat the shit out of Blue. Huh? What? You maybe fought the spiky haired kid from Mount Moon just now? Dude, what have you been smoking? Huh? No, really? Well, then, go figure. See, I told you that kid was probably nothing but a wimpy twerp, didn't I? Well, good thing we got that settled, huh? I only wish I could have been there to whoop his ass, too. You know? Yeah. You probably would have helped. A lot. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Probably want to head back to the hideout now. The other should be back there by now. I just stuck around back to see if you'd finished with your other mission yet. Well, we've done ourselves a good day's dishonest work. Haven't we, Dayton? Archer will have reason to be proud. Let's get going. I need to go to the Pokemon Center, dude. Holy mother of Mew. Run, Dayton. Run. I'm on a bike, bro. I'm good. Don't worry about me, dog. Uh, uh, oh. What in Giratina's bloody... The cops. How did they find us? Jeez, Dayton, what is going on? How could this happen? I swear, I, I did everything right. Uh, do you think they saw us? No, we got away in time, didn't we? Oh man, we have to get back to the hideout right now, Dayton. No time for messing about. Okay, see you there. I gotta go to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> Hello, police officer! But anyways, friends, I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. It ran long, but we had to do it. We had to do it. We got We got that story progress going. So, uh, additionally to liking and commenting and all that jazz that helps me in the algorithm, I've got links in the description, and I'd appreciate if you checked them out. 
we've got Twitter, we've got Discord, which has a game giveaway going on right now, and we've also got Patreon, and big shout out to Damon Darkstar and Nico the Legend for supporting us there currently. Anyways, friends, once again, this has been Pokemon Fire Red Team Rocket Edition. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one, and until then, friends, bye-bye.